Before every flight, the pilot must verify that the total weight of the load is less than the maximum allowable load for the aircraft. The aircraft can carry 38 passengers, and a flight has fuel and baggage that allows for a total passenger load of 6,270 pounds. The pilot sees that the plane is full and all passengers are men. The aircraft will be overloaded if the mean weight of the passengers is greater than 6,270 pounds divided by 38, which is equal to 165 pounds. What is the probability that the aircraft is overloaded? And should the pilot take any action to correct for an overload aircraft? Assume that the weights of men are normally distributed with a mean of 177.3 pounds and a standard deviation of 35.3. Okay, now, according to the central limit theorem, we're going to use the following formulas because of the fact that it's given to be normally distributed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture. Okay, so here's going to be our bell curve. You know, over here it tells us that the mean is 177.3. So the mean of the sample means is going to be 177.3. And then we're given the standard deviation to be 35.3. So the standard deviation is 35.3. Okay. And so it's saying here that we want to find the probability that the aircraft is um, what is the probability that the aircraft is overloaded? So we need to look at the val uh, greater than 165. So we need to locate 165. So we're going to say that x is equal to 165. And then we want to find the area that's greater than that. So we're going to shade to the right. Okay, so now we want to be able to find that z-score. So to find the z-score, we want to write down the given information. So we know that x is equal to 165. We know that the mean of the sample means is given to be 177.3. We know that the value of n, which represents how many passengers there are, and you can see that there's 38. So n is going to equal 38. And then the standard deviation of the sample means is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So we have 35.3 divided by the square root of 38. So now let's go ahead and then find our z-score. So our z-score is going to equal x minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means. So we have 165 minus 177.3. And then we're dividing that by 35.3 divided by the square root of 38. And so let's go ahead and then put that in our calculator. So we have parentheses 165 minus 177.3. And then we're dividing that by... 35.3 divided by the second square root of 38. And then round that to two decimal places, and then we get a z-score of negative 2.15. So negative 2.15. Okay, so now let's go ahead and then label that on our graph. Okay, so... We have our z-axis, where now the mean is 0, and the z-score for 165 is negative 2.15. And then what we want to do is we want to find the probability of when z is greater than or equal to negative 2.15. So let's go ahead and do that on StatCrunch.
So using stat calculators and then down to the normal distribution, we want to make sure that our inequality is pointing to the right and we have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one and let's put in the z-score of negative 2.15 and then rounding the probability to five four decimal places is 0 0.9842 0 0.9842 so let's put that in here 0 0.9842 and there is that probability now the question says should the pilot take any action to correct for an overloaded aircraft? Well, if the aircraft is likely overloaded, the pilot will need to take action to correct for this before taking off. Well, if we convert that to a percent, you see that that's going to be 98.42 percent. So that probability is quite high. So we would say yes, because the probability is high, the pilot should take action by somehow reducing the weight of the aircraft.